Good day! Before we proceed to our discussion, let's have an overview about the lesson. Many of the things around us move. Some move slowly like the turtles and clouds. Others move much more quickly like the satellites. Because motion is so common, it seems to be very simple. But in science, describing motion actually entails careful use of some definition. In this lesson, it provides you with scientific knowledge and skills necessary to describe motion along a straight path. You will learn to describe the motion of objects in terms of position, distance traveled, and speed. So today, welcome to our science class. I'm teacher Regina F. Hernandez and I will be your teacher for this day. How can we describe motion? In the picture, how can we say that the boy is in motion? To find out if the boy is in motion, you have to look for the point of reference. A reference point is a non-moving point from which motion is measured. It is our basis in determining if the object changing its position. Based on the picture, what is our reference point? Yes, that is correct. Our reference point is the tree. If the length of the path or if there is a change in position with respect to its reference point, is considered in motion. So what do you mean by motion? Motion is the change in position in relation to a reference point for a particular time interval. But if there is no change in position in a particular time interval, the object is said to be at rest. Let us start describing motion by finding out how far the object travels after it changes its position. There are two ways to find out how far did the object travel. First, by measuring the total length of the path traveled by the object, which is called the distance. Second, by measuring the distance between initial position and final position, which is called the displacement. Let us discuss first the distance. Take a look from this illustration or picture. What is the total length did team travel from their house going to SFIS? From their house, from west to east, is 4 meters. And going to north, it is 3 meters. So what is distance? Distance is the total length of the entire path covered by an object or a person traveled in moving from one place to another. Distance is also a scalar quantity. Scalar quantity is described by magnitude or size only. For example, 7 meters. 7 is the number and M is the unit for meters. Once again, let us look on the picture. What is the total length did team travel from their house going to SFIS? To find the total length, you have to look on the given. 
based on the illustration, from west to east is 4 meters and from east to north is 3 meters. So team covered a distance of 7 meters. Let's go back with the definition of the distance. It is the total length of the entire path covered by an object or a person traveled in moving from one place to another. Let us now talk about displacement. Displacement is the shortest distance between the object initial position and final position. It is the straight distance from initial position and final position. It gives an idea how far a body from its starting point and which direction. Unlike distance, displacement is a vector quantity. Vector quantity is described by magnitude or size and direction. For example, 5 meters northeast. 5 meters is the magnitude and northeast is the direction. Let us take another look with our example. Team traveled 4 meters east and 3 meters north. We already know that the total distance traveled by team is 7 meters. Let us now find out its displacement. To find this, we just need to measure the distance between the initial position and the final position of the object. Thus, the displacement of team is 5 meters northeast. This means that team is 5 meters away from the starting position to its final position. If we're going to draw a straight line from the initial position to the final position, the direction is going to northeast. Unlike distance, the value of displacement can be positive, negative, or even zero. Let us now proceed to the question and answer portion. Can displacement be equal to distance? That is correct. The answer is yes. This happened when the path traveled in a straight line. For example, distance is 5 meters and displacement is 5 meters west. Another question, can displacement can be greater than distance? Why? The answer is no. It can be shorter, but it cannot be greater than the distance. Remember, displacement is the shortest length between the objects, point of origin, and point of destination. Another question, what if the dog go back to the man's best friend's house? What will be the total distance? What will be its displacement? Its distance will increase two times or doubled, while its displacement becomes zero. Why? It is because the starting position of the dog and its final position is the same. Thus, we cannot measure distance between them. And that is the difference between distance and displacement. I hope you learned something from our lesson. Thank you and God bless everyone. And for our next virtual lesson, you have to describe the motion of an object in terms of speed, velocity, and acceleration.